today I'll be discussing why I swapped from boots to trail runners while hiking the Appalachian Trail. I know this is kind of a sore subject, especially for those of y'all that wear boots. Oh, just kidding. Um, but for real, before y'all boot wearers start throwing stones at me and freaking out like uh, some of the hammockers did in the hammock video. This is just like my experience with wearing boots and then trail runners. So for folks that are, you know, trying to decide which ones to choose for, you know, a long distance hike, take it all with a grain of salt and just, you'll have to figure out what works for you. But this is my personal experience and why I swapped from one to the other. Obviously for me to swap from boots to trail runners, I originally chose boots, right? So why did I originally choose boots? First of all, I felt like maybe being a beginning backpacker, I would need more ankle support. So boots are well known to be better for ankle support. Also, they're more durable on your feet, so they protect your feet a little bit better from like rocks and things like that. And then they hold up a little bit longer, right? The traditional leather uh, boot is gonna last a little bit longer than the material on a trail runner. Also, the support is said to last a little bit longer in a boot, so whereas I won't push trail runners past about 500 miles, had a bad experience with that, um, the boots, some people have worn them up to like a thousand miles. That, that just scares me because of plantar fasciitis, but whatever. The set of boots I chose were a pair of Loa's and they were a women's hiking boot and they were actually very comfortable. So I never felt like I had to like break them in like you would, you know, uh, a typical leather boot. Uh, I never, I never felt like that with them. I put them on, they were comfortable. You know, I didn't hike in them a whole, whole lot, but I wore them a lot like around town. So they had, you know, some miles on them before I started my hike and, and you would have considered them broken in. So if all of those wonderful qualities about boots are true, then why did I want to swap to trail runners? Well, Boots are a lot heavier than trail runners in general, and the Loa's really weren't the heaviest of the boots that I tried on or anything, but it said that a pound on your feet is like five pounds on your back. So it's always good to cut weight. Also, they didn't dry out very quickly, and there's the whole like Gore-Tex, non-Gore-Tex, that's a whole another argument in itself. If you're out in the rain long enough, your feet are gonna get wet. So yes, while Gore-Tex may be a little bit warmer, if you get wet and your feet get wet, which they're going to, then it takes longer to dry out. So the same was true of um, my boots and actually my Gore-Tex trail runners. Also, the boots felt kind of clodhopper-ish, you know, just big and bulky and, and my trail runners just felt wonderful, just comfortable, you know, like sneakers because they are. And last but certainly not least, I started noticing this sensation like when I would hold my ankle and I would like bend it, you know, like not inside of my ankle but to the touch of my fingers. It felt like tearing cotton or something when I would bend my foot like that and it, it wasn't too painful to start with but it got increasingly painful and then I ended up with this terrible case of tendonitis in my Achilles even though my boots were properly sized so it was just because of the high back of the boot the high ankle it just kept like drumming on that Achilles and caused me to have tendonitis yes I could have gotten you know a different fitting boot or a lower ankle but I just decided why not try trail runners? And so I purchased my first pair of Solomon trail runners, uh, which are glorious. I love Solomon. So uh, I'll put a link below um, with my gear list and it covers these trail runners that I used and actually the boots too in detail. You can click to, to see them on Amazon. Next, I went with these Solomons. These are actually men's. I liked wearing men's uh, trail runners better. Don't know why. So ladies, don't be closed minded to that. And I actually finished in a pair of these. So I had two different pair of these on the trail. And then um, this was my third pair. So if you can add, you realize I had four different pair of trail runners while on the trail, which, you know, at about 500 miles a piece, and I stretched one pair out a little too long, uh, you know, that's about 2,000 miles. Now, boots generally are more expensive, but if you can wear them longer and you're gonna do a through hike, yeah, sure, you might save a little bit of money by um, buying fewer pairs of boots. But the trail runners were totally worth it to me. I had no more issues with my Achilles, um, my feet were more aired out. They dried out better, especially in this particular pair. Um, these were wonderful. They were, these were the most lightweight and just the most, most breathable. And I found out I really didn't need the ankle support. You know, I really, I thought that I, that I would being a beginning backpacker and all. So don't sell the strength of your ankles short. Anyway, again, that was my experience. A lot of y'all probably have different experiences and please feel free to share those experiences below in the comments. I think it's great for people who come and watch a video like this to be able to see, you know, what experiences other people had. That way they can weigh their options and try to figure out what works best for them. So anyway, I hope y'all found this helpful and we will see you next time. Okay, so I am here at Amicalola uh, State Park and I am, there's this nice little compartment overhead. So that's the opening. Um, where you can put like a headlamp. Yes.
discussing why I swapped from boots to trail runners while hiking the Appalachian Trail. I know this is kind of a sore subject, especially for those of y'all that wear boots. Oh, just kidding. Um, but for real, before y'all boot